of a very sad day. No, his wife, his sons, and his sons' wives entered the ark. All the livestock, every beast, every living creature, and every creeping thing which has a breath of life went into the ark two by two. We got going in here. Uh, uh, this is kind of like a vaguely Mesopotamia-ish Raiders of the Lost Ark-ish uh, picture. Uh, there's a great big bird on the top. You can just see the bottom of the fan tail. I think that's probably the dove that they use later on. But what I'm looking at the stuff around the uh, cartouche. If you notice right at the top of the, the ring around the guy, on um, slightly to the left is, I think, a sauropod dinosaur. So we can be reasonably confident this is not directly drawn from any actual cartouches done by any actual human beings at any time. Not entirely sure what that strange thing to the right is. That may be one of the very largest mammals, which I'd like to see whether they got that in there. And then we've got other little critters floating around around the periphery. Uh, a lot of birds. Something else this reminds me of is the kind of pseudo iconography that uh, dictators and others have done where they take old tropes and rearrange them or occultists. Um, uh, if we were in a certain context, we could see like a swastika motif or something that would be if you were a Nazi doing this. Uh, but they want to make it look like this is an oldy, tiny picture of the past when in fact it's putting in their mythologies into stuff to make it look like it's authentic and old fashioned. <laughs> Research based enhancements. To design the Ark and many of its exhibits, the Ark encounter necessarily used some artistic license to fill in information the Bible does not mention. I.e., we made stuff up. To minimize the amount of license, these extra details were often based upon research of ancient history. <laughs> From hair and clothing styles to exhibit and ship design. Yeah. Who was Noah's wife? The Bible gives some specifics about Noah, e.g. righteous man, husband, father, but it does not tell us what he looked like, how he dressed, or what his hobbies might have been. Like whittling. Stamp collecting. We are told even less about his family, and scripture does not even reveal the names of his wife and his daughters-in-law. Artistic license was taken to name these four women, developing their backstories and craft their appearances. I.e., we made stuff up. Hmm. <laughs> What did the animals look like? The ox animals may look different than many people expect. Whenever possible, the creatures we crafted were based on fossils found in rock layers considered by researchers to have been deposited soon after the flood. We did not do any of that work, but we're not going to tell you that. While this provides a good basis for the size and shape of the animals, License was taken to develop unpreserved details, such as the coloring of the scales, fur, or feathers. In other words, we made stuff up. We got our license from Patriot University. Is the Ark Encounter adding to scripture? Details like naming the women enhance the overall guest experience, and they should not in any way be cons considered attempts to add our ideas to the Bible. Additional signage can be found in exhibits containing significant amounts of artistic license to help visitors discern between scripture and elements of artistic license. In short, this is our disclaimer that we made stuff up. 
And if you listen to your right, you'll hear what sounds like we think animals might have sounded like. What the hell was that, a lowland gorilla? Wow, that's a lot of cages so far. How many would there have been? Well, according to Kenny, the number that they use is 7,000 animals. Let's also say, to be charitable, that each animal required only two minutes of care per day. Ever had a pet? Two minutes is way charitable. So, we've got 14,000 minutes, or 233 and one-third hours of care needed. With eight workers total, that's only a little over 29 hours of work each day for each person every day. Not sure how to fit that in a 24 hour day. Oh yeah, magic. And Noah being the master engineer, you'll notice that the door has pin and uh, interlocking pin hinges as well as a modern handle with a lock above it. Pots. I hope they're ballast. Oh wait, ballast wouldn't be this high up in the ship. That has to be food storage. That's unfortunate because there's no way to remove them from that shelf. The wooden slats you see across the middle of each urn have no hinges and no latches that I was able to detect. Do you notice a lot of artificial lighting in this arc? Kenny says that oil lamps, candles, or torches could have been used. Wouldn't the exhaust gases from such things further contaminate the air already rife with things like methane and ammonia produced by the animals? Okay, let's add a little more time to the 29 hour days for a prayer service. Our prayer. God brought Noah through the catastrophic storm, showing him mercy and grace during the judgment. Noah was faithful in his generation to honor the Creator and do as he commanded. We, through incest, are all descendants of Noah and should follow his example. Our storm of judgment is coming. News on weather at 10. And the Lord has offered mercy and grace through his Son, Jesus Christ. All other religions do not apply. We're not going to talk about the Jews here. Honor the God of heaven and earth. Follow him and live forever. Oh, 
שאפתי לכבד אותך נאמנה בכל מה שעשית. שמור עלינו כעת, בשיתות חיי את העולם הזה, כפי שהבטחת, וכולנו נשרת. נועה's prayer, God of heaven, we ask for your mercy through this terrible storm. You called me to build a ship to preserve my family and the animals that you brought to me, and I have sought to be faithful to honor you in all that I have done. Preserve us now through your judgment on this world as you have promised, and we will be faithful to serve you all our days, though during the Babylonian captivity we're going to be screwed. <laughs> אנו מבקשים את רחמך בסופה נוראית זו. קראת לי לבנות ספינה, לשמר את משפחתי. Translation of automatronic Noah speaking, thank you for paying that hidden parking fee. Thank you for believing all this BS. Please come again and bring your friends and family. את החיות שהבאת אליי, ושאפתי לכבד אותך נאמנה בכל מה שעשיתי. And there's some more inaccessible storage. And Noah once again demonstrating his engineering prowess, he was courteous enough to provide fire exit doors that are alarmed to escape in case of a fire. solutions. Providing for hundreds of reptiles and amphibians would present unique challenges. <laughs> the smaller varieties could have been kept in clay pots with some water at the bottom, allowing these animals to be kept in moist environments if necessary, like they're necessary. Fresh water could be poured through the pot's fabric, covering and waste removed through a drainage system. See waste collected in drainage systems inside. Note small spigot at top, just at the bottom of the pot. It is easily able to remove all of the waste being produced by the slimy amphibians and reptiles. In other words, we made stuff up. Yeah. Well, thank you all for joining us. Please join us for our next episode entitled... One of a kind. <laughs>